Hi, I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe, and today in this video we're going to be looking at the dry wise from Thought 3D. The dry wise is an intelligent inline filament dryer, and it has all the profiles for a variety of materials so that you don't have to worry about guessing at settings to get the proper results. You just select the right material, feed it through the dry wise, and it gets perfectly dried as you're printing, resulting in nice clean prints every time. Now the DryWise has a variety of filament profiles out of the box and they're constantly adding support for additional materials through firmware updates. But most importantly it's useful when you're printing with nylon based materials. Any of you who have printed with nylon before know that it has an especially strong tendency to pick up moisture very quickly from the environment, and this will cause the quality of your prints to degrade very rapidly. Now the best way to show this is through some print examples. So here's an example of a print that I did using a spool of nylon that I intentionally left out in the open air overnight in a rather humid environment just so that it would collect some moisture. And as you can see, the results are pretty awful. Lots of malformed parts and lots of stringing. Definitely not a print result that you'd be happy with. Now, here is the exact same part printed using the exact same spool of material, using the same settings on the same printer, the only difference is that this time I ran it through the DryWise inline filament dryer. The results are pretty staggering and I think speak for themselves. This is a really nice clean print, still a little bit of stringing right at the tips of those points as you'd expect with any nylon print. You could probably improve that with some tweaking of settings, I was just using defaults here, but pretty stark contrast to the print that was done without the dry wise. Now, maybe you've used other methods of drying your nylon and other materials. There are filament dryers like the print dry. You can even use an oven to dry your filament overnight, but it does take quite a long time. You're talking maybe a couple of days to get it fully dried. Not a very efficient method. The other problem with that is even after that filament has been perfectly dried, once you mount it on the printer and start a long print going, it can start to absorb moisture from the environment immediately. And even throughout the course of a long print, you can start to see degradation in your print quality. Here's a graphic that shows that really clearly. You can see in the print on the left, which was done with a spool of nylon that was dried for 60 hours in an oven at 80 degrees Celsius, it started off pretty nice, but after about three and a half hours, you can see clear signs of degradation in quality. The print on the right was done using the same material, but going through the dry wise, and the quality stayed good all the way through the print. The DryWise is really easy to use. It sits right next to your printer. There is an optional spool holder, as you can see here in this photo, that you can 3D print for yourself and mount on top, or you can just keep the spool mounted on the back of the printer, which is what I opted to do. As long as the filament has a clear path into the input on the DryWise, and then a clear path back to the feeder on your printer, that's all that matters. And when you turn on the dry wise, it has a nice big touch panel that'll walk you through step by step. All you have to do is select what type of material and what brand of material you're using because the profiles are very specific to each material. And then follow the steps. It'll guide you through loading that material into the dry wise and it'll go through an initial drying cycle that usually takes about a half an hour, though it depends on the material. Then once you're ready to do a 3D print, it'll guide you through the process of loading the filament into the printer from the dry wise. Then it prompts you to start your print job, which you do normally on your 3D printer, and the filament will be dried using the dry wise as it's being fed into the printer. So that no matter how long that print is, it's going to result in good quality because that filament is perfectly dried as it enters the printer. Now here's another test print that I did. I wanted to do something a little bit larger. This is again a nylon print, and you can see from the results here that it is perfectly clean throughout. Really nice layer stacking, no signs of any kind of surface defects, no stringing visible or anything like that that you might otherwise see with a nylon print. So if you're working with higher end engineering grade materials and especially nylon based materials, but any materials that tend to absorb moisture, and you want to ensure the most reliably consistent quality results possible, the dry wise is well worth looking at. I've been very impressed with the quality of prints using this device.
I hope you found this video useful. As always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. You can always reach us at info at 3duniverse.org or give us a call at 800-689-4344. I hope you subscribe and click the bell icon so you get alerted for future videos. See you next time.